Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at uh, this book now. It's called Philosophy and Christian Faith. It's a, it's a bit damaged. Uh, and it's by Colin Brown. It's published by Tyndale Paperback. And um, we're looking at Cornelius Van Til. Okay and um, I did a lot of videos on Cornelius Van Til and presuppositional apologetics I mastered the apologetic method I used it against the atheists and I utterly devastated them and they got they were so devastated by my apologetic of combining the minimal approach of the resurrection and combining it with presuppositional apologetics that they basically got rid of 2000 of my apologetic videos and they have a channel that is attacking me right now that I've pleaded with them to take off that has uh, about a thousand five hundred of my videos and many of them are just silly being stupid but they're they are part of a wider body of two thousand scholarly videos that I made but the atheists forced me to get rid of those videos by threatening me yes I had phone calls and I was threatened by the atheist community and I've had to get rid of those videos and so now I'm making videos scholarly videos so people can see that I know what I'm talking about I'm not just some silly fool who makes funny videos but I have a scholarly side to me and uh, that's why I'm making these videos and I would ask you to protect my right to do scholarship on YouTube thank you so uh, let's get on with Cornelius Van Til he writes if Catholics have sometimes been guilty of allowing philosophical ideas to distort Christian faith, it could be said that evangelicals have been guilty of allowing the case to go by default. As we saw when we were looking at theological trends in the 19th century, evangelicals make great contributions to evangelism and even to biblical scholarship, but they contributed little or nothing to the philosophical defense of their faith. For many scholarship had a largely negative value. It was useful to defend the Christian faith against hostile criticism. Few evangelicals seem to have considered the philosophical implications of a faith based upon God's revelation of himself and their significance for apologetics. It is not surprising, therefore, that friends and foes alike tend to think that reformed evangelical theology had nothing to contribute to the intellectual debates of our time. But this is not the whole story. Although British evangelicals gave philosophy a wide berth, a number of independent thinkers on the continent and the United States were alive to the situation. Cornelius Van Til stands in the conservative tradition of Dutch Reformed theology. He has become a focal point of this stream of thought in the New World in the same way that Herman uh, Do You Weird has in the Old. Like Do You Weird, I can't pronounce it, Van Til was born in the Netherlands but he has spent most of the academic life in the United States. He did research at Princeton University, was awarded a doctorate there. At the time he was on the staff of the Princeton Theological Seminary, when the Westminster Theological Seminary was founded, he was appointed Professor of Apologetics and has spent the remainder of his academic career in that, po at that, in that post. His challenge of the Gospel to critiques of Bath, the New Modernism, Christianity and Barthinianism and an essay on Christianity and Idealism is the author of a lengthy philosophical introduction to B.B. Warfield's The Inspiration Authority of the Bible. The most comprehensive statement of his position appears to be The Defense of the Faith, which is a book that he wrote. Okay, so we've got two pages of Van Til here, uh, about Van Til, and um, we'll leave it there. I just want to say the education of Van Til, Cornelius Van Til, um, was trained at Princeton. He was an expert in Hegelian philosophy. Uh, his tutor there was amazed at uh, Van Til's ability. Uh, so when the atheists are attacking presuppositional apologetics, uh, you've got to realise that Van Til was uh, he was a philosophical genius and he was an expert in his field. Um, so bear that in mind when people start attacking Van Til. Okay.
So we'll do Vantil and presuppositional apologetics. We'll do 10 videos on this and uh, I'll expound to you my scholarship that I learned over the last few months uh, on this and I've been studying this for many many years so okay okay so 